Good day, my friends in the fire service. I'm Brian Pods, and this is another episode of Ask TFT. Today's question coming in from the field is this. I'm looking for clarification on how the 125 GPM inline foamy ductor works, specifically when using nozzles of different operating pressures like 100 PSI versus 75 PSI. Well, TFT inline eductors work on a Venturi principle which uses an extreme pressure loss within the adductor that allows the foam concentrate to travel up the pickup tube and into the water stream to create foam solution. Now the steps to make the best quality finished foam in your foam setup are as follows. Number one, most importantly, establish 200 PSI at the inlet of that adductor. Number two, Ensure that the nozzle you are using is rated at the same GPM as the adductor. If you're using an automatic nozzle, you don't have to worry about it because the nozzle will automatically adjust to the adductor flow rate. Number three, ensure that the nozzle is all the way open when in use. Gating a nozzle will degrade finished foam quality or even make it non-existent. Number four, a lower pressure nozzle will produce the best quality of finished foam because lower nozzle pressure means lower exit velocity, which reduces the stripping away of foam bubbles. Number five, factor in friction loss. If your hose length between the adductor and the nozzle is too long, you will not deliver high quality finished foam. 200 PSI at the adductor, 70 pounds of friction loss through the adductor leaves you with about 130 PSI to work with between the adductor and the nozzle. Number six, a foam attachment of any kind will enhance finished foam quality because it entrains air and provides mechanical agitation, which helps to create the highest quality of finished foam. Thanks for the question today and keep them rolling in at tft.com contact.